So more conflict. Yes. Uh, this time between Justin Bieber and PETA. All over two cute little kitty cats. Uh, you know, Justin Bieber has been uh, touting his two new cats. So he got about a month ago. Um, they have their own. They have their own Instagram now, Sushi and Tuna. Um, and he loves them, but PETA is not thrilled about them because they are somewhat exotic cats. They are Savannah, uh, Savannah breed, is that yes. there? Yes, they're basically yeah. the, kind of like in the cheetah family where they're the cats that you can actually walk on a leash. They're, they're really, really special, really hard to get. You have to get them from a breeder, most likely. Right. Um, but yeah, so he spent $35,000 for these cats and PETA was not happy with this. And they just basically said in a statement that Cats should be rescued and adopted, and we should not be supporting breeders. He did not like that at all. He actually posted on his Instagram saying that PETA needs to focus on other things like poaching, animal brutality, and not shame him for a, for wanting this specific kind of cat. I agree with him. This is I, I actually I, and look I I'm I support a lot of what PETA does, but it's like. Uh, and, and I push rescue all the time to anybody who will listen. Mm -hmm. At the same time, I don't think you call somebody out on social media and say, how dare you not get a, re I mean, I think it's better personally. I think they're better animals, but that's just my opinion. And I, I can be an advocate for rescue right, but without I, I, shaming somebody who chooses another and, path. And, and listen, I, 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 I would take just, Justin's side in this, but I think for PETA, um, I think they're calling out Justin because they know how many followers he has on social media. I understand they that. Right, but he's, but so he's their, setting their an example. Their concern is that, right, exactly. And, but he has a right guys, to what he wants to do. But I also, you guys, there, especially right now, there are so many kittens that need adopting that are, I mean, these shelters are filled yeah, no, right now. They need homes. They, they and need as homes. for me, I have two exotic cats that I rescued. So yeah. it is possible. Of course, you might have to wait a little bit. Luckily, I didn't, but because I kind of got the like, my cats were on Your cats sale. Are exotic. But <laughs> yeah, uh, I, I have. Did a, the cats are exotic. Did yes, I have an them? exotic short hair, and I have a Persian, and a lot yeah, of people, people go people, through people, breeders people, for this. And people sometimes people wait, give them so up. So wait, so these cats are exotic, but they were rescued. Are you sure? Correct. How can you know? What, what do you mean? Because maybe it they're has like a specific shelter. look. But they they Rachel Dolezal. You have a situation. <laughs> yeah, it's not a racial. Did you get a racial, a racial, you get two racial cat. dolls all cats? Is that what happened? I, I mean, think that's what happened. Also, you guys, if I really wanted to, <laughs> they have like a 23 and Me for cats I now. So okay. I can go no. back and see his answer. I think Charlie, okay. you waste your money on that. There, yeah. there, there is a difference, though. Like, for example, when, when, when Peter goes after people for wearing fur, there's really something behind that, which is the, the torture that right. animals have right. to go through, and for that. I feel the you same way. You don't think shelters are torture, Harvey? I was about to say, no, no, you don't think the yeah. issues is wait, 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 No, no, no. I, I think there's a huge difference between shelters that don't want to euthanize animals, but at a point have, have to, to right. and they're but, actually so is, is trying the to take care of them versus... It's still, but, it, but, but the end result is the same. It's, because it's, it's not the, the same. Well, no, you're talking well, about then. the torture of the animal As versus to, the death of the animal. What Peter is basically euthan. saying... No, 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 I'm not talking about that. Okay, tell me what you're talking about. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about that it's not that the shelters keep kill the animals, the shelters try and preserve the animals. But they still right. end up dead. But the, well, but, some but of them do, don't, some of them don't. But if they don't, if what people do don't adopt here? them, then the end result is die? that the animals no, will No, no, no. And that's what Peter's trying to kill. But, but there is a difference between... It's how they're killed. There is a difference between humane, oh, okay. humanely... Yeah, not, I know, that's yeah, what humanely saying. euthanizing At an animal... At the same time, though, what, what, Peter's are, what, what Peter would be arguing... an animal. I can't, what Peter would be arguing is that there's still animals that are dying that wouldn't necessarily have to. No, right. And they're trying to stop that. And I'm saying there's a difference between torture right. and humanely euthanizing where thing. you don't want to do it, but there are too many of them and right. you end up having to. And they're also, by the way, they're spending a lot of time in LA now trying to actually get this down to zero euthanization. Right. That they're actually, there's this big campaign now and it's actually somewhat working where they're not Excellent. euthanizing as many as the animals in the shelters, which I think is great. Well, that's good news.